Hi everyone, it's time for another story time at Josephine Ford's Playhouse and I'm Miss Emily. Today we're reading a book called Up in the Garden, Down in the Dirt. This is by Kate Messner and illustrated by Christopher Silas Neal and Chronicle Books is the publisher. So be sure to check out this video and find a copy at a local bookstore or maybe online or check out your local library once they get open. The reason I chose this book is because while we have a lot of open space here at Ford House, we also have a few different types of gardens. We have a rose garden. I'm gonna let you guess what type of plant is in that garden. We have a new garden that has a bunch of different types. We have a tribute garden that we usually have flowers that you can plant for someone's in someone's honor. And then we also have a small garden just on the other side of the playhouse. When it was originally planted, all the way back in the 1930s, it was a vegetable garden because the gardener of the estate wanted everyone, all the kids, to have different experiences with different types of plants and different type of gardens because each plant and each animal and each bug gets a benefit in some way. So now I'm gonna read Up in the Garden, Down in the Dirt. Up in the garden, I stand and plan. My hands full of seeds, my head full of dreams. Can you guess what season it is? With all the white stuff on the ground? I'm gonna say it's probably winter. Spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow. Wind whistles through last year's plants and mud sucks at my rain boots. It's not quite time, Nana says, down in the dirt. Things need to dry out and warm up. What's down there, I ask? Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects, digging and building and stirring up soil. They're already working down in the dirt. All sorts of different types of bugs down there. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks, scoop rusty armfuls, and wheel away weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. So that compost is going to help plants grow. And looks like we have some flowers already. Down in the dirt, hill bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke, they roll up tight and hide in planted suits of armor. Roly poly round. So you see some of the roly polies? Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and sprinkle seeds in a careful row. Give them a drink, Nana says. We pat them down to snuggle in the dark. Down in the dirt, a tomato hornworm rests waiting for wings and leaves where she'll lay her eggs. Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout, pea blossoms bloom, wasps are on the prowl, and honeybees visit, legs loaded with pollen. I weed and wilt in the sun, so strong even Nana looks for shade. Down in the dirt, earthworms tunnel deep, I'm jealous of their Cool, damp, dark. You see them all along here. Up in the garden, <gasps> rain shower! Nana turns the hose on me. Eee! Look at their garden, how great it's looking. I think we're probably in summertime now. I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and laugh, drenched in Nana's rain. Down in the dirt, water soaks deep. Roots drink it in and a long-legged spider stilt walks over the streams. So you see the water going into the roots and we have our spider. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. Nana crunches green beans. I bite a ripe tomato warm from the sun and juice dribbles down my chin. Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, a grub, slugs are scrumptious too. Look how big that robin is compared to the bugs. Up in the garden, we pick cukes and zucchini harvesting into the dark. 
that swoops through the sunflowers and I pluck June bugs from basil until it's time for bed. Down in the dirt, skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. I don't mind them working the night while I get to sleep. Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays the aphids, and I am after grasshoppers, ready to swoosh, but... Oh, snap! Someone else is faster. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining garter snake crunches on the supper. Up in the garden, the wind grows cold, cool. Pumpkins blush orange and sunflowers bow to September. Nana ties them together to build a house for a reading. You can see that right there. I think we're getting to fall. Down in the dirt, an orb weaver spins her web, strand by silken strand. She'll munch on moths tonight. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines and we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry and harvest. There's enough for neighbors too. Down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're storing food for cold, cooler days ahead. See all those ants. Up in the garden, frost draws lace on leftover leaves where secret egg sacs hang waiting for the warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. Down in the dirt, beetles burrow, ants scurry home, and earthworms cur curl tight in the dark. When Grandpa calls us in for soup, an autumn moon is rising. Up in the garden, dry corn stalks tremble in the, and the wind smells like winter. But the long, ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds. The ladybugs and bumblebees, earthworms and ants are hunkered down, hiding, biding their time. Dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts under the bare arms of trees and blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. All right, so be sure to check out the video about the art project that was inspired by this book. And come back next week for another story and another project. Bye, everyone.